KCR government recommends dissolution of legislative assembly and the government dissolved. Caretaker government is again KCR's government. KCR is a caretaker CM. And the Telangana government is going to have advanced elections. Is going to have advanced elections. Is a move to counter and checkmate the opposition parties to go for early elections or quick elections. So Telangana State Assembly yesterday approved the dissolution of assembly and KCR recommended the dissolution of assembly to the governor and the governor approved that. The first important news yesterday. And the most important thing in yesterday's newspaper Supreme Court gave historic judgment on section 377 of IPC. Supreme Court gave a historic judgment on section 377 of IPC, Indian Penal Court. In India, from last 68 years, Indian constitution is in force. Right to life or right to personal liberty is a fundamental right. Whereas, a minuscule section of population in this Republic of India was denied of their basic right to have a consensual adult relationship. Consensual adult relationship. In the modern democracies, right to personal liberty is a fundamental right. In the year 2009, in the Nas Foundation case, in the year 2009, in the Nas Foundation case, the Delhi High Court said, Section 377 of IPC, to the extent of LGBT rights is unconstitutional. Delhi High Court said, Section 377 of IPC, to the extent of LGBT rights is unconstitutional. In the year 2013, in the Suresh Kumar Kaushal case, in the Suresh Kumar Kaushal case, Supreme Court said Section 377 is correct. Section 377 is constitutional. Section 377 is correct. Section 377 is constitutional with respect to with respect to LGBTs also. In the year 2014. In Nalsa versus Union of India. In Nalsa versus Union of India. It granted personhood to the transgenders. It granted a status of personhood to the transgenders. So, you should remember this sequence. In 2009, Delhi High Court said Section 377 is unconstitutional with respect to LGBTs. In 2013, Supreme Court said, no, 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 LGBTs do not have any rights. Section 377 is constitutional. And in that case, the Supreme Court also said, when something is an aberration, it should not become a rule. LGBTs, their relationships are, LGBTs, their relationships are aberrations. When something is an aberration, it cannot become a rule. And in 2014, in Nalsa case, they have given personhood to transgenders. In 2017, in Puttaswami versus Union of India, right to privacy is declared as a fundamental right. In 2017, Puttaswami versus Union of India, right to privacy is a fundamental right. Yesterday, historic judgment, the Supreme Court uplifted the rights of LGBT community. Consensual adult relationships are allowed. Consensual adult relationships are allowed. Section 377 with respect to LGBTs now is considered as draconian. Very harsh. Section 377 now with respect to LGBTs is considered as draconian. Very harsh. 
LGBT community is hailing the judgment as it brought true freedom to them. LGBT community is hailing the judgment as it brought true, free, true freedom to them. This judgment marked an end of an era, end of an era where section 377 is being used and misused to suffocate and to stop and end and to attack the rights of LGBTs and this judgment have immense transnational value section 377 is a colonial legacy is a colonial legacy IPC is drafted by the Britishers it's a common law many countries even today do have similar sections now the judgment given by the Indian Supreme Court yesterday will have a presidential value and an enriching value on many countries which follow the similar laws on many countries which have similar laws so section 377 also have transnational value really important so it's a historic movement for India a privilege to fundamentalize chapter and a great respect to even the vulnerable and minuscule communities and it shows that India is moving towards modern thoughts from traditional thoughts and J.S. Mill minority opinion minority toleration J.S. Mill can be properly seen here majoritarianism is against LGBT rights but in a diverse society even minority interests minority views can be protected in a diverse society even minority interests minority views can be protected this is what is this is what is section 377 of IPC the Supreme Court gave yesterday historic judgment next important news with respect to IR international relations yesterday 2 plus 2 dialogue 2 plus 2 dialogue India and US signed COMCASA C-O-M-C-A-S-A India and US signed COMCASA C-O-M-C-A-S-A Communications Compatibility and Security Agreement COMCASA is Communications Compatibility and Security Agreement During the 2 plus 2 dialogue which was held in Delhi New Delhi COMCASA was signed Compatibility Communications Compatibility and Security Agreement This agreement will help India to get advanced military technology from US This agreement will help India to get advanced military technology from US including encrypted defense technology including encrypted defense technology it will be helpful here you should remember two other points two years back India signed lemo with America logistic exchange agreement two years back India signed lemo with America one month back USA accorded STA to India strategic trade authorization one month back USA accorded STA to India STA means strategic trade authorization so STA and COMCASA STA and COMCASA both are very important for India US defense relationship both are very important for India US defense relationship and it's going to increase India's defense platform with America so you have to remember COMCASA 2 plus 2 dialogue in India US relationship Indian Air Force successfully carried first ever mid-air refueling of Tejas LA light combat aircraft Indian Air Force successfully test fired mid-air refueling refueling what do you mean by mid-air refueling Fe refueling the helicopter in the air 
mid air refueling in tejas light combat aircraft tejas is a light combat aircraft which was developed by hal hindustan aeronautics limited which was indigenously prepared it's a jet fighter it's a single seat multi role jet fighter tejas is a single seat multi role jet fighter and the recent news is japan is going to conduct world's first test of space elevator japan is going to conduct world's first test of space elevator by using two mini satellites what is the space elevator space elevator is a transportation system from a planet to the space it's a transportation system but it is in the nascent stage very end stage it's in the pilot stage only it will take many years to have a proper space elevators in the world it will take many years to have proper space elevators in the world these are the important news yesterday